Hi guys, today I will be sharing how to make mango pudding. For the mangoes, we're gonna be needing five mangoes. You can only see three here because I'll be using a small blender, which the capacity can only hold three mangoes. So cut the mangoes, remove the stone and the skin, and then we're just gonna um, puree this. Strain the mango puree to remove excess fibers from the mango. And then continue um, pureeing the remaining mango. So we have um, 2 cups of pureed mango or 500 ml. Now we're ready to make the pudding. This is 3 fourths cup plus 1 tablespoon of sugar. But the sugar will depend on how sweet your mango puree is. So you may need more or less. This is 50 ml of milk, 250 ml of whipping cream or thickened cream. 1.5 tablespoon of lemon juice. 2.5 teaspoon of unflavored gelatin powder 100 ml of water to begin we're just going to combine the water and the gelatin give it a mix and then set this aside in a pot put in the pureed mangoes again these pureed mangoes is two cups Add in the sugar, turn on the heat, with the sugar like I said, um, add a little bit first and then taste, if it's sweet enough, stop, but remember you're gonna add cream and milk later, so it will dilute the sweetness, but you can always adjust the sweetness at the end. So I tasted this and my mango is not that sweet. So I added the rest of the sugar. Once it starts boiling, we can add the um, lemon juice. And then the gelatin. Give it a mix. And then once the gelatin is all melted, we can take the mango out of the heat at this point continue stirring and then add the cream and the milk You can taste this again, see if you need more sugar. As for me, the sugar and the sweetness is enough. So we're just gonna strain the mixture and then we'll just um, let this cool down a little bit. So I'll be using small cups or medium sized cups for this. I ended up making seven cups, not eight. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge to set. For the coconut topping, we need two tablespoons of water, 400 ml of coconut milk or cream, um, three tablespoons of sugar, and one teaspoon of unflavored gelatin. So combine the gelatin and the water, give it a mix, and set it aside. So in a pot, we're going to add in the coconut cream. I'm using coconut cream, but you can use coconut milk. Turn on the heat, medium to low heat. Add the sugar. And then we're just going to wait for this to boil. Once it started boiling, we can add the gelatin.
and then continue mixing once the gelatin is melted we can turn off the heat and then we're gonna strain the mixture transfer it into a measuring jug And then we will cool this down before we add in to the set mango pudding. Meanwhile, cook the tapioca if you're gonna use tapioca pearl. So um, my coconut topping has cooled down. I'm adding about 4 tablespoons of the coconut cream jelly on top of each mango pudding. At first I added 3 tablespoons and then I come back with 1 tablespoon. So all in all, it's 4 tablespoons of um, coconut cream. Once the coconut cream jelly sets, we can add extra topping. Um, but this is optional. I'm using tapioca pearl and nata de coco. You can stop here, but I'm adding about 1 tablespoon of tapioca pearl. And then about 6 pieces of nata de coco but this is optional like I said with the gelatin or with the pudding um, I only um, let this set for about three hours all in all ideally if you want it firmer you would let this sit in the fridge overnight but three hours is okay and this is the finished product this is so good so refreshing for summer and then just to show you how it looks like when you have a spoonful again this is only about three hours so the jelly is still quite soft Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!